I just got home from my shift. I'm so tired. I feel like you can just tell how tired I look right now. I look like a boy with my little slick back ponytail, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, anyway, I guess this is my first clip of the video, so welcome to this video. My name is Layton. If you're new here, I make lifestyle videos and videos about nursing, so I'd love for you to stick around. And I'm glad you're here for this video, which is my night shift routine or night shift vlog. If you're new here, I'm a NICU nurse, and lately I've been making more nursing videos and nursing vlogs, and it's been really fun. So I thought it would be fun to vlog like a little night shift routine for you guys. I thought that might be kind of interesting. Okay, I'm gonna prop you guys up because my arm's getting tired. So it is currently Saturday morning around 8. I got home a little bit ago. So I worked last night, and then I work tonight, and then I'm off for a couple days, and then... I go back to work and then I work on Christmas Eve, but if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm a rotator currently, so that means I work day shift and night shift. Usually it goes like two weeks of day shift, two weeks of night shift, and then it just alternates by two weeks. But then also you're supposed to switch over to one if one is shorter than the other on certain shifts. So I'm currently on my two weeks of night shift. Honestly, it's taking so much energy for me to film right now. I had all these plans to film this video and then to be completely transparent, I was just really not in the mood a few minutes ago because I was just so tired. And then also I was just feeling a little down and having a little pity party for missing out on stuff this weekend, but I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, just to be real, it always feels weird when I'm like feeling sad or down and then I just whip out the camera and I'm like, hey. So, but we're good. So before I vlog and show you guys what I'm about to do now, I guess I'll quickly summarize what I did like yesterday leading up to my first night working. Usually what I've been doing, honestly, it depends on just what's going on in my life, what my schedule's like, just how my day goes. But usually what I do is, so the night before, the night that I go into work for the first um, night shift, I just let myself stay up really late because honestly I usually like to stay up pretty late anyway. So I just let myself stay up as late as I can basically, as late as I want to. And then I go to sleep and then I just let myself sleep in super late the next morning just to kind of ease my body into that late night sleep during the day routine. So usually I'll let myself sleep in honestly till like 11, 12, but like I said it really just depends. I'll wake up and then I have somewhat of a normal morning and then I usually try to take another nap before I go in. So like last night I stayed up pretty late, slept until like 11. Like I said, kind of had a little bit of a normal morning, got some things done and then I took a nap from like two to five. And then the key is when you wake up from your nap, Treat it like it's the morning, you know, do all your morning routine stuff. And I'll get into that. I'll show you guys more of that. So first things first, usually when I get home from a shift, I just like to pour a huge glass of water and hydrate because most of the time I do not drink enough water at work. Even though I try to be good at it, I just get home and I'm like, I need water. So once I have my water i usually like to get right in the shower just because i always feel so gross and i usually feel like i can't even eat until i'm showered and clean all right so i'll see you guys after i shower i'm sorry for this backlit lighting too also it's such a gloomy day right now and so now i'm extra excited to sleep because my room is going to be extra dark and it's just going to feel so nice all right, I just got out of the shower, put on my pajamas, feeling so clean. I already did my skincare stuff, like my skincare routine that I usually do at nighttime. So now I'm just gonna go eat because I'm starving. Honestly, a lot of times it's hard for me to muster up the energy to make something to eat when I get back and before I go to sleep, but it's necessary because I always get so hungry and I just know there would be no way that I would get a good long sleep if I were hungry, so. I think I'm gonna do a bagel and maybe some fruit.
All right, so I ended up just making a bagel and on this one I put cream cheese and cherry tomatoes with some pepper and everything about the bagel seasoning. I got this idea from Maggie McDonald. She's been making these on her vlogs and it just looked really good. So I've been making this a lot. And then I just did a little like peanut butter and jelly bagel for the other half just so I can have like a sweet and savory. And then a glass of orange juice. Just finished eating and now I'm just gonna brush my teeth and get in bed. So like I said before, a tip that I feel like is really, really helpful is just to do your basic like nighttime routine that you would normally do before you go to bed at night it tricks your brain into thinking it's time to go to bed <laughs> and it just makes your sleep so much better too in bed and i am so excited to sleep sorry my camera doesn't focus for some reason in darker lighting but i feel like it doesn't look as dark on camera but it feels so dark and cozy in here um, I have three huge windows, as you can see, in my room, and I love them so much because I love natural light, I love windows, and they're huge and they bring in the most beautiful light during the day, but obviously for situations like this, they are not the most ideal, so I do have blackout curtains. I got them from Overstock, I believe. I'll link them down below if you guys want some. And they work pretty well because like behind, I don't have any blinds or anything behind them. It's literally just the curtain. Um, I do that just so it's easier for me to open and close the curtains. They work well for me at least. I could sleep even if it's not like pitch black. As long as there's not like sun shining right in my face, I don't really care. Um, I know some people like to use the little sleep masks. Honestly, I don't need to. I pass out and I sleep hard. And I just feel like I wouldn't like the feeling of something sitting on my face. I think that would really bother me. But if you are someone who's like is about to start night shift or something and you're nervous about being able to sleep, I'll go ahead and tell you, you will not have any problems sleeping on the days after you work. Like you will be so exhausted. I usually get in bed and I'll try to watch part of a show or a YouTube video or something and my eyes will be shut within literally two minutes. <laughs> Usually I feel like where people struggle the most is trying to get some sleep before they go in the first night. But something that I did in the beginning when I first started doing night shift, I would just drink some of that sleepy time tea. And I feel like it really did help. It just makes you feel so relaxed. So just a little tip if you're someone who has trouble going to sleep. Okay, I think I'm just gonna watch a little bit of YouTube even though I'm probably gonna fall right asleep. It's currently 9.18, which sounds about right. I usually end up going to sleep at like 9 something, so all right, I'll see you guys when I wake up. I've just been on the couch drinking my coffee and I honestly just got so distracted with so much stuff I was texting people and like reading these articles and just just got a little distracted and now I have to really hurry and I still have to make my lunch or whatever and eat something and get ready and film it time to get on with it okay so to eat right now I just made some of these oats with blueberries and honey and cinnamon so I'm gonna try to eat this really quick and then for my dinner or lunch, whatever you want to call it, I usually eat it around midnight or one. I'm taking this leftover pasta that I made. It's really good. It's got the bonza chickpea pasta, Italian sausage, celery, carrots, and some like red wine tomato sauce. Super good. Then I packed some fruit, some strawberries, and grapes. And oh, this is my Parmesan cheese and basil <laughs> for the pasta. And then in here, I just have some almonds and some cashews. Sometimes I eat these if I get hungry before um, I eat my main meal. And then of course I had to pack a little peppermint bark chocolate. These things are so good. And then I'm also gonna pack this just in case. I don't know, I just like to be prepared. I usually pack 
a lot more than what I actually end up being hungry for, but still better to be prepared. All right, so now my lunch or dinner, whatever, is packed. And then I also made some iced coffee. And then of course I have my water bottle. All right, it's like 625 and I am headed out the door. like 8 50 on sunday morning after getting home from my shift feeling nice and clean wash my hair i love washing my hair after my last shift of doing several shifts in a row so basically i just did everything that i showed you guys that i did yesterday morning when i got home i showered ate something did my little nighttime routine and then i got in bed um usually what i do after my last shift so when i don't have work the next night i try to go to sleep as soon as i can when i get home and then i usually like to sleep around four hours so that i'm feeling pretty rested but also not so rested to where i can't fall asleep that night and so i'll probably set my alarm for like 1 30 ish and I'll probably end up getting up more around two. But yeah, that way I can still have somewhat of a normal day when I wake up, still be able to enjoy a few hours of sunlight and, you know, get some stuff done and have somewhat of a normal day. So that's usually what I do. Okay, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Subscribe for more videos similar to this. And again, comment below any questions you have or comment below any type of video that you want to see. And thank you guys so much for watching. It truly means the world to me. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.